Okay, we are back. And um, this particular one is one I've been, um, you know, I've been thinking about doing uh, for a while. I was just waiting for the right, you know, for uh, the right VOD to um, to talk about. Um, and um, well, when I made the first video, like. Um, how to think like a BF2 player, I was trying to get the point across that there is a certain uh, strange quality to BF2 where that sets it apart from other shooting games. Uh, not to say that you can't be very cerebral in other shooting games, of course you can, but <laughs> BF2 really allows you to sort of specialize in that and have that as a viable style. Uh, and uh, there are only a few select players who sort of gravitate so heavily towards this aspect of BF2 that you can legitimately say that it's their bread and butter style. Um, you had uh, Alexa, the Ukrainian player, who doesn't play much, or he doesn't play now for obvious reasons. Um, and you have uh, Viper, the Swedish player, and then you have Heels. Um, and the one thing these players have in common is that they don't play like other players. They, they have chosen to be... Uh, it's hard to put it into words exactly, but you know it when you see it. It's like, uh, some might call it overly cerebral or overly, or trying to be too smart for your, or your own good maybe, but it, it's definitely, uh, how can I say? I mean, me and Heels, we grew up in the same scene way, way back. And back then you had a player called Linet, who sort of perfected this lurking style. So, you know, even though I don't agree necessarily with Eos' play style uh, in every situation, I can definitely relate to it and sort of understand it. Uh, but if you, if you don't know, like, if you, um, how can I say, if you... If you if you don't anticipate his style, if you don't understand, if you, if you if you if you can't relate to it, you can really be in for a tough time if you're going to play someone like Heos because uh, you really have to sort of. It is a style that can be very very effective, especially against people who who don't know how to deal with it. Uh, I wouldn't say this style is is the best overall like well-rounded style it, it 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 it's a little bit more or it's a lot more dependent on who you play with and against i think for it to be effective because it's a little bit hit and miss uh, but it's still extremely impressive when it works and i mean heos has perfected it to such a degree that probably no one else has um, i'm guessing but uh, let's just look at this and see what, um, and I'm going to try to talk a little bit more uh, on it uh, uh, as we go. Um, now, th this is the second map of the 5v5, and I actually played in this match on against heels. Uh, so this is the second map. Uh, the first map was Karkand, which uh, my team won pretty convincingly. Um, the second map here is uh, Road to Jalalabad, and it's a map that... The reason I picked this map is because it's the one that complements Heels' style the best. Like, uh, this this is the perfect map. This is the map where Heels can be the most dangerous, I think, because it allows for his style to really be... It's extremely hard to counter it on this particular map. But uh, let's just see what happens um 
and I, I already knew going into this as they, this would probably go 40 minutes. It didn't end up going 40 minutes, but uh, usually these kinds of matches go 40 minutes because it's uh, on the road, because it's so hard to cap, especially when you have people like Heels running around. It's so hard to corner them, like to sort of choke them out. Um, but the, re the reason I think uh, players like Heos and, you know, Viper and Alexa, the reason they are so important is because they embrace that aspect of BF2 that is sort of becoming a lost uh, art, I think. Uh, at least among the newer players. I mean, uh, the pl every player who is going to be really, really good at this game has to at least have some of this, of what Heos is doing. They must have some of it in their game uh, but most players today they just focus on the fragging part and you can see here he is he's also very very patient uh, and much more patient than i would have been i would probably just challenge uh, uh, quite a bit earlier but uh, he also likes to take his time which uh, it rewards him and punishes him at the same time. It's um, one of those things where when things aren't going well for your team, it it can just sink your team completely if you take your time like this. But when you make it work, it looks flawless. So it's... Um, uh, and you can, you can see how clever he is. Like, uh, I'm actually on Mosk as well. We were um, so uh, now Sky has told me that Eos is around, and I I got a spot on him here, so I know he's not. Uh, he's probably trying to fake me out with the birds there, but uh, I have a spot on him, so I know he's not. He's on the corner here, but I got I get a bit impatient. You can see where that where that gets punished. Like uh, as I said, Eos is a lot more patient than I am, uh, so. Uh... <clears throat> He didn't manage to get around, but uh, they still end up with three flags here. Now he's gonna okay. He's gonna spawn Hotel to defend it, and he gets his spot on them first before they see him. That's uh, that's good. Uh, one thing to mention about Heels that, as I mentioned, uh, as I said, I sort of grew up in the scene with Heels like at the same time, um, and back then I didn't really. I will admit that I didn't hold him in high regard uh, back in the day, but he has definitely impressed me a lot over the past few years um, in a way that he didn't before. Um, so, I, I mean, he is... If, if someone asked me, like, what player should I watch to sort of be better at BF2, uh, he is just one of the names on the top of my list. So this is a this is a situation where he is probably gets a little bit punished for being uh, too clever. Uh, I'm already aware that he might have spawned here, so I am looking around, and he's sort of standing where I can easily get a spot on him, which I have now, and he gets a bit unlucky with the nade there. But that's the thing about being like over. I'm not going to say overly smart, but being to have this kind of style when you try to sort of incorporate in, it into every situation where you sort of try to be cerebral all the time. If you play against players who are really good at paying attention to when people spawn and where and sort of uh, people who have good game sense in general, like uh, it's going to be hard. Like the better players you play against, the harder it is to get away with the, this style. Uh, so that's what I say, why I, what I mean when I say it's very dependent on who you play against and with. Um, obviously, it, everyone is dependent on that to some degree, but th this style is uh, probably more so. Like, if he was placed against people who are really smart and skilled, um, basically the top, like the elite players, um, this style usually becomes a lot less effective because they these players are better at anticipating movement uh, and uh, you know where his pushes are going to come from and when but as i said heels can definitely throw off your timings because he is extremely patient and uh, but uh, so 
if you're used to other people's timings, if you're used to playing against uh, Lodden as a squad leader or uh, pff, uh, maybe Malke or whoever, like uh, who people who are sort of quicker to push, who play more aggressively, who play like a little bit more fast paced. Uh, Heos' timings can definitely catch you off guard. But once you get used to heals, you, I, I mean, for me personally, I sort of have two different modes, I guess. Like, because I played against heals many times, uh, so I know what he's about. Um, so, you know, it might take me a few rounds when I'm playing him to get into it. But once you sort of start to tune in on his timings, uh, it becomes a little bit easier to deal with. Um, so you, you definitely have to change the gear when you're playing someone like heals. Um, and that's the one thing about people who are very smart about how they play. They usually are also a bit par paranoid about being lurked. As you can see there, he's, he's sort of spotting around him because he's probably expecting other people to do what he's doing, to sort of be clever and run around. It's similar to how people who are really like... Uh, uh, people who are like uh, pathological liars they always expect that other others are lying to them it's like um, it's a kind of similar to that if you're if you are a lurker you you expect you're gonna get lurked but let's see here oh, yeah he's gonna go around so he's going to use the other players as bait here. Oh, he got spotted. That's unlucky, actually. I think, yeah, we're going to know that he's coming, I'm guessing now. <coughs> That's also a problem if you're someone like Heels, is that when you, when you get so well known for lurking, uh, the other team will start calling out your name specifically like uh, like people will ask the question like uh, where's heels like have you killed heels and it becomes a, a special point to mention every time you kill him every time you see him um so oh that's me he caught he caught me on the trash so what i'm doing right now is that i'm just i know i have reinforcements coming so i'm just trying to waste his time waste my time not giving him the frag on me so he doesn't really get any opening to um, to go to a safe position. But as I said, like <laughs> when uh, when heals is uh, it's the same with Viper, and it was the same with Alexa when he played. It's uh, whenever you see them, you you take notice because it's really dangerous to let them get the round unspotted. So that's um, that's a bit unlucky for um, was it Kogu? Yeah, it was Kogu. It's a bit unlucky that uh, for Kogu that he was spotted him. Um, but I do think I think Kogu is doing. I mean, Kogu obviously he hasn't perfected. Uh, he's really green when it comes to five v five uh, squad leaning and playing. But he is really trying his best to sort of push around and be mobile. But he, what Kogu is doing, he's pushing very direct. And uh, it's something that I also prefer to be a little bit more direct, not waste time. I would never, never, ever do what he is doing now. But, uh, you know, it it's a bit hit or miss. Like, uh, in the, okay, in this situation, he was, he, he was, okay, the guy spotted him. So, you know, tough luck, but... But it's very, very interesting. Heels is definitely one of the most interesting players to watch because because it's different. It's like, it's not often you can say that about someone that they truly have a unique playstyle. But Heels' playstyle is unique. Like, there is no one else who plays like this. At the moment, at least. I mean, there might have been in the past a few players, but who were similar. Um... And that's the thing, even though Heels doesn't get any spawns now and we know where he is, we have to sort of delegate resources to take him out because it's like you become a little bit more 
paranoid about <laughs> when, when you know heels is around the back of your main flag you just want to get him out like you don't want to leave it so it works into his advantage sometimes like right now we're he's able to hold like three guys up here on mask i think two at least two maybe three and that allows the rest of his team to sort of uh, gain ground uh, elsewhere so So let's see, he's probably going to go Mosk again. You can see how cautious he is, how he sort of... Uh, oh, that's a, uh, the guy should have jumped down there. But um, you can see how cautious he also is, he's, he's very, very methodical. Um, and uh, even though I think he also is probably an extreme, like, or he is an extreme example, but he is, he, he, as, I, as I mentioned a few times, I think he's a bit too methodical and slow paced uh, to be like uh, super well rounded. But the interesting thing is that what Heels is really strong at, what he's really good at, is what most people are lacking. I'm not saying that people should sort of strive to be exactly like Heels, but they, they should have some of this, like some of what Heels has. Like what Heels has in abundance. Uh, like in terms of playstyle, players should have at least a good chunk of this in their game, and that's what a lot of people these days don't have it at all. Like they're just about running around fragging, um, not having that awareness and you know this ability to sort of have a very have some structure structure to their sort of to their movement to their you know to their uh, you know where they look where they like how they are able to spot enemies and because you know when you play with heels one thing that you will notice is that he he gives a lot of like he, he he is kind of a support structure for information and um, uh, within the team um, so it's always good to have players who are really really uh, strong on uh, sort of uh, information gathering and uh, uh, just being um, uh, I don't know what you would say, like have a good overview of what's happening, I guess. And, uh, the, you know, Heels is staying very passive now and just staying in one spot for a long time, but I can sort of forgive it on this map because this map just plays a little bit differently or it plays differently than the other maps. Like taking your time sometimes on Jala is, can be really useful. And I, I I love this position from Heels. It's like he I don't know how he knows. Like he just seems to know every clever position you can hide in. And this is an example of this is classic, like old school Norwegian type of play where you you let the enemy pass and you immediately push in behind them. That is such a classic move and um that's what the the player i mentioned earlier lunat uh, the norwegian player he really perfected that style and i actually give lunat the credit for sort of some of the players after him becoming really strong players um, because i modeled my play style partly on lunat i i suspect he else did too uh, now, I ended up becoming more frag-centric, uh, but I definitely, I can relate to Heal, as I said before earlier, I can relate to Heal's playstyle and his way of thinking. Because, as I said, we grew up in the same scene, which was also very heavily influenced by the Swedish scene, because the Swedish and the Norwegian players, they intermingled a lot.
But I, I think like, at least for 5v5, this style, not Heos' style particularly, but to have this sort of more cerebral style combined with heavy fragging, it ended up being the most successful 5v5 style in throughout BF2. I mean, it's not that it's unbeatable. I mean, um, if you take like German teams, for example, they didn't play this way, naturally at least. But they had such strong fraggers that sometimes it didn't really matter. Like, they were just able to run over you sometimes, regardless. Uh, so it's not like every, it's not like you have to play this style to be successful. But it's definitely like um, it's definitely for me personally the perfect style is a bit of this of well, what he was doing mixed in with heavy fragging and fast-paced play that, to me that's the perfect style um, probably similar to what how Malkin likes to play the game I, I think that's close to a perfect style for 5v5 five five. Uh, he always takes his time a bit too much as I said but it's a good he is a really good player to get inspiration from in terms of um, how uh, how to play because he uses playstyle is not skill based at all like uh, he doesn't rely on fragging out people so what this means not to say that he isn't skilled like he he actually frags very well uh, uh, he, you know no one would accuse or suspect him for like um, not accuse but like um, put him up as like uh, the top or the top fragger in the scene but He's, he can definitely hold his own against uh, just about anyone. So, um, but uh, what were I saying? Yeah, uh, about it, since it since his, his style isn't really skill based, it means that anyone can do this. Like it doesn't really matter your skill; anyone can try to do what Heels is doing. Not necessarily successfully, because Heos definitely has a lot of natural ability to do this. Like, and I, I love this. I, I love what he's doing here, because I can definitely re relate to it. Like, it's so common to just die right before you get spawns on Junkyard, if you just push in a little bit too quickly. So I just love the fact that he's he just have that presence of mind to go in the plant and hide for a second. It's... It's really, I, I really like that. But as I said, like anyone can sort of, uh, if you look at someone who's like an amazing fragger, you can only replicate that if you're an amazing fragger. But what Heos is doing, you can actually try to replicate regardless of skill level, which I think is one of the reasons why I find it so compelling to sort of, to watch him. Um, Okay, there are more people up there. But this is usually how this is usually how Yala goes trading flags for forty minutes. But as I said, it doesn't go forty minutes. But this first round goes twenty minutes. So we still have a minute left. they are okay it's very very even on tickets like this is this is a very even yellow round oh that's a good that's a really good spot now he has such an advantage he's just gonna wait for the ladder or okay he's going in the house that that's so flawless though like uh, exactly what Heels did there. To be able to play that situation so controlled is uh, is very impressive. Like um, it's a it's a testament to his patience and sort of, I guess, discipline. You would say his. Um,
And there it is. Very, very even. But let's see how much time do they... Is it live now? No, it's not live. So this last round is really short, so there is really not much to talk about. Um, let's see. Okay, I haven't actually watched this round um, from his perspective. Um, but uh, they end up winning it very quickly, which <laughs> was, we really jinxed it on this. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's just an example of if you're not careful, you really, you can really mess up. He just really likes to go on. on uh, he likes he likes this building. I've seen him hide behind here before. I usually just go straight through the middle, although I haven't been squad leading for a long time though. So, but I used to squad lead. Now at this point, people are sort of saying that Heels is on the LMG. So we actually do a big blunder here because without communicating we all spawn in here to take heals which is a big issue because <laughs> they're actually <laughs> they're, you see we're all there and they're lurking junk at this point and i realized too late that i'm way out of position and loden didn't catch them he was the only guy covering the flank so at this point we're in big big trouble i try to get back to junk doesn't i don't have the time i just end up doing nothing um and at the same time they manage i'm guessing he was going to spawn market and push hotel tell immediately or maybe defend market and then push hotel oh that's that's <laughs> that's a that's a godlike nade uh, heels is really good at like the right click nade where you sort of hold to right click um i don't use that a lot but heels is heels is extremely good at those nades uh, he, he 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 sometimes used them more than the regular nade uh, and at this point we're wiped back to hotel horrible position to be in and they're pushing into flag already this is gg uh, we still ended up winning the match, I think, but it was definitely, uh, this last round was very, very, <laughs> very poorly <laughs> played from us. It was horrible, horrible. But uh, these things happen and you just have to, you just have to uh, take responsibility for fucking up. There's nothing else to do. And uh, he also is expecting someone to be junk, and I think he's correct, actually. Yeah. And he's wasting time here. He's not pushing into. He's waiting until he gets reinforcements, which is very, very well done. To have that presence of mind to think a little bit ahead. Um, now I, I i didn't want to show karkan because uh, you know we've already seen car i did karkan the last time even though it was a 4v4 and you know the video would be like as you can see the vod here is over one hour 122 minutes so i didn't want the video to be too long but um hope you enjoy it um 
Heels is definitely a player to watch. I, I think he's one of the better streamers. Uh, and he streams every game, basically. So um, check out his Twitch on um, Heels. You can see it up there in the left uh, corner. Heels won. Um, and um, yeah, there's a lot to learn from Heels. Even for me personally... You know, I learned some tricks here and there about positions and because he knows them all, basically. Um, and it also gave me a little bit of an insight of where he else likes to hide for when I'm going to play him next time. Which, uh, you know, it is what it is. That's one of the consequences of streaming. You sort of give away your tricks a little bit. But I'm happy he's streaming. Uh, it's streaming a lot. I, I should probably stream more as well, but, you know... It's in. It's good that some people are streaming uh, regularly. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Later.